well, let's go for a real question then. Yeah. Right. What kind of language or framework or software do we use within Bold.com? You got four different answers over here. <laughs> I think so as well, yeah, yeah. But we don't use any Java. Our big service is actually in Kotlin. And I think you have something completely different. I started with uh, Java, which in a matter of weeks turned into Kotlin, thank God. Uh, <laughs> we had some Spring Boot, and my current team, we're doing Golang. We're using it for importing images, documents, videos from thousands of retailers. So we are, as a company, maybe more of a Java shop, but it really depends where you sit on what you use. Yeah. Right? Should we try another one? What about the freedom to use the framework language you like? You can use any language or framework that you want, but you have to think about it like, what are you going to uh, leave for your colleagues? So you have to think yeah. about that in the bigger sense. So it does make sense to use a JVM language, as you said, because we're a Java shop. It's great to try out on your side project the new technology, right? The cool stuff, but you don't just use it because it's the next great thing. And if you're the only person at Bold.com who knows that uh, tech, yeah, then you're the one maintaining it. So that's the dangerous yeah. part, right? Yeah. If you think about it, it's like quite diverse. It is. Mm -hmm. Let's see. How do you learn in languages or frameworks you've never worked with before? Learn by doing, and, uh, by doing, and yeah. uh, you just uh, first you get OPEX. <laughs> yeah, first you get it, <laughs> yeah. so no escape. Well, this is not just work, right? This is also like, I guess, personal pet projects. Yeah, interests. So you get an idea, you don't have to keep it alive. So it's not production per se, but you mm. can play around with it a bit. So I like that approach indeed, the, the learn by doing. Uh, for Golang, the way also that I learned this language was mainly through pair programming. So my teammate already knew lots of Golang. He would just tell me, yo, I'm doing this really cool project. When I join with a video call, I can share my screen. Then I could easily learn the language uh, by practice, but not my practice directly. Right. Really useful. This time I'm first. How important is the tech stack for you when working or applying for a company? For me, this is my first job. But I do know when I apply to a different job and I don't like the tech stack, I'm not applying. I do have some baseline now with Fumble.com and I don't want to do anything less anymore. <laughs> I'm spoiled, I think. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm more interested in the problem that you're solving than really what technology you're using. I'm, I'm with Roy on this one because I feel like the technology is just your tools mm -hmm. for you to solve a problem and I care more about how fun is the problem I'm solving. Yeah. If the problem is cool, the programming language is just a list of it. Yeah. yeah. Sure. Next one. Oh, yeah, yes. I'll go for it. Uh, how does the different languages or frameworks work within different teams? As I said, we're like a full Kotlin team and yeah. we basically expose and consume REST APIs. And we're connected to a service that I know is not written in Kotlin or in Java whatsoever, but they of course also expose a REST API. So it doesn't matter what language they are using. <laughs> if they yeah. just have a REST API, we can consume, we're fine there. So in that sense, that's how we cooperate with other teams that use other languages. Yeah. Is there anything else? Well, yeah, in my do. pet project. Oh, in your pet project? Uh-oh. Uh -oh. How many pets do you have? Well, <laughs> <laughs>